Hey, how's it going guys? Mr. Boss for the win here, and in today's GTA 5 online video, I'm going to be talking to you guys about some of the best and coolest pearlescent combinations in the game. Now, I'm doing this in GTA 5 story mode as I have more money and there are more colors unlocked, but this does apply for online as well. So if you do like this video, please push the thumbs up button, guys. I would really appreciate, appreciate it. Your support has been amazing. Like I said, I do think it is awesome. So anyways, let's get started. The first pearlescent that I'm going to be looking at uh, really works best on any supercar. And we're going to be starting out with the gasoline green metallic color. Now, this doesn't look all that great on its own. It's kind of this bluish sea dewish green. Doesn't look that great. But if we pair it with the yellow pearlescent, that's right, just a regular yellow pearlescent, you can see it really makes this car pop. It kind of reminds me of like a 1980s Vice City theme with, you know, the uh, bright greens and blues and neons. I think it looks really amazing. You can see this is the final product right here. All I did was change the wheels a little bit, added the white finish window tent. And this is a sexy looking car right here. That's why I'm saying this car looks or this pearlescent combination uh, definitely looks best on uh, you know your sports cars and uh, higher supercars so this is what it looks like like I said it looks great during the daytime you get the flashes of blue you get the flashes of green it's an overall just super nice looking car like I said this is one of my favorite pearlescent combinations in the game and I do think it's going to be you know a staple for my cars going forward so this next one looks better on all the coupes, really. We're going to be starting out with the wine red metallic color. It's this dark blackish red finish. Looks really sleek, really, you know, luxurious looking color. And we are actually going to be pairing this with the Torino red. Now, what that does is it makes it a little brighter. The wine red for me is a little dark. When we pair it with the Torino red, it really gives it that nice, like, vibrant red while still keeping that sleek, dark, kind of like brownish black look I guess you could say that that's kind of what the adjectives I'm going for right here and you can see why this looks so good on the coupe cars because it's flashy but it remains that you know dark sophisticated look that I think the coupe should have I don't think a coupe is going to look very good with like a bright ultra blue color but I do think it will look good with a little bit of color you just don't want it to be overpowering and that's why I think this wine red and Torino red is such a great combination because it gives you the color but it still gives you the sophistication that I think a coupe and a sedan should have. So moving on to the next one, we're going to be going back to our supercars, and we're going to be starting with a, just a regular red color, just metallic red color right here. And for our pearlescent, we're actually going to be using ice white. Now what that's going to do is it's going to bring out the red a little bit, not make it so dark, and kind of give it a little bit of flare and a little bit of flash to it. So you can see right there, when I spin the car around, it really does a nice job reflecting off the light. It makes the red pop, it makes the white pop a little bit, and it just doesn't make the red so overpowering it really just adds uh, a nice little touch to it uh, you can see when I bring it out right here that it's just got a nice feel to it and the white really reflects uh, off the sun glare just makes it look really nice uh, I recommend that you do this again on sports and supercars I typically save the brighter colors for, like I said, the super sports cars, just because it has a bit more of a fitting feel to it. You're never going to see a sedan, like I said, with a giant bright ultra red or ultra blue paint color. So I do think that this applies really well right here. And so I tried to break it up for you guys, give you two pearlescent combinations that worked really well with sports and two that worked really well with normal cars. So right here, we are using the custom Cabrio colors, or we're going to be going with the Cognacetti Cabrio. And uh, we're going with the wine red again. This is the same one we used for the other one back ago, and now we're going to be applying a bright purple to it. Now what this does is we're taking the wine red, an already dark color, and we're applying a brighter purple. So a dark color, but given a little brighter overtone. And you can see this looks absolutely fantastic. This is what I did to it when I came out. I gave it the low rider wheels so I could actually take use of the custom white tires. And this looks beautiful right here. It's purple, it's dark, it's got a hint of red in it, it's really sleek, really Really sexy this one is probably my favorite out of all of them again this works really well on sedans and coupes and like I said I'm definitely gonna be using this pearlescent combination in the future other than that guys like I said if you did enjoy the video or found the information helpful please drop a like on the video guys I would really appreciate it and definitely leave me a comment down below what pearlescent combination is your favorite definitely let me know in the comment section down below and if you want to see all my daily GTA 5 content and other gaming videos be sure to hit the red button down below and you can subscribe to catch all my future uploads other than that thanks for watching guys Take care, and I'll see you guys in the next video.